Hey y'all, this is Zach. Uh, tonight we're gonna make a really easy recipe. It's called cilantro lime chicken. Um, if you don't like cilantro, don't worry. You, it's added later as a garnish, so you don't have to um, add it, because I know some people don't like cilantro. What I've got is I've got about a pound and a half of boneless, uh, skinless chicken breast. I've got a pack of taco seasoning. I've got some lime. Yeah, if you have just one lime, use the juice of one lime. Uh, chicken broth. Black beans, I've got a 16 ounce can of salsa, and that's it, besides the cilantro that we added in. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper my chicken breast, and I'm gonna get those sauteing in the uh, Instant Pot. So we'll be back. All right, so I already put salt and pepper on one side of my chicken, um, and I'm gonna do the rest. And I'm gonna brown it for about two minutes per side. You don't have to take this step, but I think it adds a whole other level of flavor to it. All right, so I'm gonna turn my saute function on. I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. And once that heats up, I'm gonna brown it for two minutes per side and then we'll take the next step. All right, we'll wash my hands and we'll be back. All right, so we browned it two minutes per side and we had a little technical difficulty, but I added, um, I turned the saute function off and I added half a cup of chicken broth. All right, the, the recipe I found, the written recipe I found online called for adding everything in there at one time and then cooking it for 15 minutes, but I think that's too much pressure when you're cooking the beans and then the salsa, so I didn't want to do that. So I've got my, my brown chicken in here and I've got half a cup of chicken broth and I'm gonna take the lid Search that to the sealed position. All right, hit the manual button or pressure cook whatever you have on yours, and let it sit for set it for ten minutes. All right, we'll be back. All right, so we had ten minutes high pressure. Uh, then I did a ten minute natural release, and I flipped the switch, and I took my chicken out, and I went in two, two forks, and I shredded it up. All right, so it's cooked. So all we're going to do now is going to mix everything together and do a quick three minute. Uh, pressure. So I've got another half cup of broth because I emptied the other, the other uh, half cup. So I've got my broth in there. I'll take my chicken. I'm going to put it back in there. Now I've got my packet of uh, taco seasoning, and this is just the original. I don't do the hot. So put that in the water on top of the chicken. Got my black beans that I've drained. All right, I got my 16 ounce jar of salsa. That's in there. You just have to stir that. All right, let's stir it in. All right, now I've got my lime. Again, I would do one uh, medium sized lime and just uh, squeeze it in there. So the amount of lime, one medium lime. All right, got my lid. Set the seal. All right, manual button or pressure cook button. I'm gonna bring down to three minutes. All right, we'll be back. All right, so we did three minutes under pressure and I did a quick release. And folks, this is really good. Um, now, if you wanna add sour cream to it that'd be real good too you can add jalapenos to it um, me i'm going to add some cilantro and some cheese on top of it um, so really really good quick and easy recipe and we'll see y'all next time